Hey, I'm Reynard Wilson and you're listening to another episode of Mind of Steel. This is the weekly show where I, Reynard Wilson, explore the interesting, the wacky, the wonderful world of Mark Steele. And if you don't know who he is, well, where have you been? He's Britain's most ludicrous conspiracy theorist. He's the man who approximately four years ago told the world that we were all going to be murdered by lampposts. And honestly, I'm still waiting for it to happen because there's a lamppost right outside my house. But oh, I'm, I'm actually, it's looking at me with some severely murderous intent right now. And I don't like where this is headed. But today, we're not going to talk about Mark Steele alone. No, no, we're talking about Save Us Now. That is the political campaigning organization that he founded. And in particular, let's look at one of its members, a chap called Craig Winter. And uh, let's see what he's up to. He seems to be very hot and bothered about something that's happening in, in a school somewhere in Northwest Wales. My name's Craig Winter, and I'm a law enforcement officer for the political movement Save Us Now. I'm not a police officer, I'm not imitating a police officer, but I'm doing the job that the police should be doing now. Are you as curious as I about what Craig Winter is doing in the car park of that school with a machine in his hand that appears to be beeping ominously? Doing now. I'm exposing a wicked agenda and a crime here. Now, I'm, I'm in mean, Guyan Cleary School in St. Tassif. Now, you'll see behind me the 5G uh, antenna up there. Uh, now, this is knocking out some pretty serious radiation here. If you look at my meter here, wow. it's pulsing, as you can see, the electric field there. Wow, the, the display really is pulsing, or as I might say, inconsistent. Yeah, it, it, it seems like Craig isn't able to get a consistent reading at all out of this device. And maybe that's because the device in his hand is a hunk of junk. I, I just looked up. You can buy the, the exact same machine for £15 plus postage from AliExpress, which kind of suggests that, that uh, it's not exactly a, a, a work of precision engineering. It, it's possibly the worst possible tool for the job. But let's just see where Craig goes with this. Yeah, look at it, it's going up to nearly 700 volts per metre. 700 volts per metre is an outrageously high reading. That would be more potential difference across the human body than, than if you were to, to grasp the live and neutral ends of a power supply and then throw the switch on uh, with your foot, I guess. But if you did that, you'd only be experiencing a, a voltage of 240 volts RMS across you. And, Craig is measuring almost three times as much. Those poor children must be being electrified just by standing next to this transmitter. It's outrageous. I think the maximum safety levels, the government's recommended safety levels, are about four volts per meter. For now. Four volts per meter, yeah, that sounds safe, doesn't it, compared to 700. And just think how much power a transmitter would need to have in order to to put a field strength that high uh, about 100 meters away. That would need to be a 100 megawatt 5G transmitter, which uh, that, that's almost the entire output of a, of a medium-sized combined cycle gas power station. Can you imagine? I don't want my kids being drafted into to running power stations when they should be undergoing basic primary education. It's not fair, is it, Craig? So the, the parents aren't informed that their children are being sent to school with um, electromagnetic radiation everywhere, are they? Parents should be informed that school children are going to encounter electromagnetic radiation. All that sunlight, those lamps, those fluorescent tubes, that's all electromagnetic radiation. And it can't be doing our kids any good. Uh, uh, if, if you've got a child in the school, you know, they're definitely going to be suffering some kind of health effects from being in this radiation all day. I think a child would be experiencing a health effect if they were basked in a field of 700 volts per meter. That child would be twitching and paralyzed and maybe being carried out in a, in a body bag. You know, the thing that, that, that's a wonder is, how is it that Craig Winter doesn't seem to be affected by a field that, that's that strong? You know what, it's probably because the, the people who 
Our members of Save Us Now are made of such robust stock that they are not affected by the kinds of electrical field strength that would paralyze the rest of us. <laughs> Craig's that kind of guy. Genocide. This is terrorism. Crimes against it's humanity. Crimes against humanity. Right? And somebody's going to be answered to this. James Davis, MP, I'm coming for you because you, you, you are behind this. You know this is here. James Davis, Conservative MP for Cluid Valley. <laughs> Craig Winter is coming for you. Your days are numbered as a political operative in the British Conservative Party. Well, at least until the next election, when they're probably kind of numbered anyway. But, but, but Craig, the point is, Craig is coming to you before then. So you should be even more afraid than all of the other members of the British Conservative Party. So we're outside the uh, there's still tennis courts and the football pitch where the kids you know, play. If you look at the electric field down the bottom, it says bad, you know. Craig's EMF meter really does seem like a precision crafted scientific instrument. After all, it's got an indicator on it that says bad. It was all. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's a genocide agenda. Stop the genocide agenda. And if you also want to stop the genocide agenda, you too can sign up for Mark Steele's political organisation, Save Us Now. But if you're not bothered about the genocide agenda, or maybe you think the genocide agenda is quite cool because it means that we can all have modern phones, uh, you could subscribe to MC Toon's channel, perhaps even become a member. I I'm sure we should ask MC Toon what he thinks about the genocide agenda. Perhaps he's totally on board with it. <laughs> And if you're on board with what I'm doing, please join me in approximately one week's time for another episode of Mind of Steel.